School can be predictable. Predictable. Desk, chair, bell, register. But what if it were well less predictable? What if it wasn't clear which way events would turn? At the ages of just four and five, pupils at this school in Rotherham are learning about the precarious world of business by selling eggs laid outside their classroom. Precarious in this case because they keep dropping them. So meet the packaging team. All they have to do is find a way to stop any smashing from six feet up. Easy? Well, the fact that it's not doesn't matter. The fact they're prepared to see a few omelets does. So, Catherine, the odd thing here is that we're in a classroom, and it would be a bad day if this project went well. Is that right? Well, the, the treat for these children is they're going to learn as much out of their mistakes and their failures as they will from their successes. And why is that? Because uncertainty in learning is so powerful. What a foundation going to be looking for? How could you use that to meet the dream? The challenge for teachers is to hold back and not come up with answers to all the questions. The designers of the scheme believe youngsters need to be allowed to take chances now, so they can become enterprising workers in the future. Whose idea was it? But it's what's going on in their heads which is key. Academics say that uncertainty of not knowing whether they will succeed or fail engages the brain, and that way they learn more. What's happened really is that actually we've, we've eliminated, we've eliminated chance and luck from the school environment. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it's extremely unmotivating because the, the brain is actually it's developed um, to respond to uncertainty, to luck. And and when you take that element out, you can expect that the children are going to be less less engaged. Luck, which can go either way. There's the risk of failure, something going wrong, and a debate over how far you shield children from that. There have been drives to bring back more competitive sport and to reassure teachers concerned about going on school trips. Filming themselves whitewater rafting in North Wales, this school from Hampshire believes young people have to leave their comfort zone. Yeah, the more danger that there is almost is the, the more excitement they get out of it, but it has, has to be managed so that it is safe. Back in Rotherham, it's time for the crash test. Has it survived? Yeah. <laughs> so you're a teacher, you can see that egg. It might just break. Don't you want to run in there and stop it? Part of you wants to, but you know that if you go in there and stop it, then they're, they're not going to do any learning. And what we're trying to promote in our school is that you take a risk and things might not work out the way that you want to, but we find that's the way our children learn best. A plus B does equal C, but in a different situation, it might equal J. And that is exciting and challenging the next generation. Simon Clemerson, BBC News, Rotherham.